here tonight. They're masked, they're armed, and they're snooping around local homes. Tonight, Heather Lee with the local neighborhood now on edge and why this video doesn't tell the whole story. It was an alarming Monday night for neighbors in this holiday subdivision. Not scared, but you know, we're going to protect our own. Watch as these two people creep around a home in Colonial Hills and peer into the back door. With their faces covered up by masks, one of them pulls what appears to be a real gun out of their waistband. Kevin Missigman lives nearby and says it looks as if both are teenagers. And this is a small, small uh, young individual that shouldn't be out there doing this. And it's not, you know, it's, it's just, that's the scary part about it. It's somebody's kid. We don't want anybody to get hurt. This video time stamped just before a quarter to 11 with the folks living here inside sleeping. The homeowners say they woke up after they heard a gunshot coming from the front of their house. They say when they opened the front door, they found a shell casing. That's when they checked their phones to find out what their cameras caught. Video and uh, surveillance is, you know, it's key for protecting your house. It's just, you know, the whole, gives them a lot of uh, leverage to catch these people. Pasco County detectives with the property crime unit say they are investigating and encourage people to not only install cameras, but check their footage when a crime is reported in their area in case they captured something. They can identify the people and, uh, and get them off the street. Uh, so that's and that's the main thing. I mean, we just want it to stop. We don't want to, you know, don't want to hurt anybody. If you have any information about these two, call Pasco County deputies. We posted that information on abcactionnews.com. In Pasco County, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.